some call it the end of world, world War Three. It was what brought about this place. It was the nuclear apocalypse in a sense. Uh, so many bombs were dropped and so many bombs were made and whenever they, whenever they exploded the radiation, it severely altered the fabric of this reality in a sense. I was, you know, a little hesitant at first, but always willing to try it. And, uh, you know, they told me get a Nerf gun. So I went, bought a Nerf gun and, uh, you know, dug out my camo, which I had used when I played airsoft years ago. Uh, at first I was a little bit, uh, I was a little bit like, eh, this seems a little weird. I don't know. I mean, I love, like, I, I, lo I love to write. So I love creating characters. And I was like, ah, I'll give it a try. I'll make a character. I'll go to one session. If I don't like it, I won't, I won't be back. And uh, showed up and I had a blast. I kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> My character is Zed. He is a human gunslinger and the chief of security for the House of Mouse. And they allow that, but it must not come inside the actual wedding. You know, a post-apocalyptic setting is a little rough. Uh, you know, I play my character as being the gruff mercenary. Now, have fun, that's an order. You get to create everything. It's uh, unlike any video game you would play where you're set by the rules of the game. In this case, you can write your own backstory, uh, interact with the characters the way you see fit. No, uh, God, Johnny! And it also really is a good environment where your in-character actions can have consequences. I start looking around, and in the homes, I find what appears to be sleeping people. My family, my kin, I thought they were asleep. Uh, I used to be very tolerant of humans, uh, very, very uh, sympathetic towards them because I view them as an unevolved species. And then they you smelled been, it. And then I smelled it. Yeah. They were all dead. I have no pity left for them. The, the, my only regret is letting them live. Having the differences between the good guys, the bad guys, the, those can you know change certain things, but having like the casino runner, the police, having you know all the different races can create a lot of different tensions and unique situations that are really what drive the narrative for players. Oh, they shooting them, they almost shot us. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. The amount of times I've seen I people so. do that, almost know. shot us. If you, you know, make enemies or make friends with factions, it can help or hurt your character. So the Din has been causing problems. They're getting a whole bunch of drugs coming into the area and they're gonna start dispersing it out and they are poisoned. They are straight up going to try to poison them. Make sure they're not. <laughs> you do that, Mel. I trust you, you So you say. The mechanics allow for a few different things, like, you know, all the different classes. Like, my character is a uh, gorilla, like a gorilla fighter, um, and it allows me to do certain things. I, I count as a mutant, so that allows me to do different things. But when you make a character, it's figuring out how to make those two things come together to create a story and a idea that you bring into the world and... Uh, have it interact with what the chapter narrative and other players bring in to create a larger story. As the blood seeps into the soil, so will your souls be bound by just in the commitment you make to your people you have made with each other. And here, bound by blood, you are now husband and wife. I'm not a very social person. I get awkward when I'm around even friends. But when it comes to things like LARP and coming in character, 
I'm able to interact with people more and yeah, I'm in character, but there are certain aspects of yourself that will always carry through and I've made a lot of good friends in this game and it's uh, it's something that gets me to come out of the house. This was the first LARP I've gone to. I've started going to others, but this one will always be kind of something special. I don't know who you are. 